Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to our uh, today's session with uh, Mr. Rahul Paul from Cape Breton University, Nova Scotia, Canada. So uh, today uh, we have uh, Rahul sir with us. And uh, today's agenda of our session is to discuss about the engineering department of Cape Breton University. So I would request uh, Rahul sir to give us an insight about the engineering department of uh, Cape Breton University. Uh, hello, viewers. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Gunjan, uh, first of all, uh, to invite me here uh, in this uh, live session, which is going to be really interesting for the students, especially uh, who are going to, you know, have admission in abroad in engineering, especially. So today, um, based on the facts and figures and different programs and the area of engineering available here in Nova Scotia, Cape Breton University, we would be having uh, this interactive session and uh, we'll let our viewers know, our students and the parents know about different opportunities and uh, available options in engineering for the students where we have some unique sort of engineering options as well. Okay, sir. Yeah. So I would uh, request you to let us know about uh, different specializations and courses linked to engineering at Cape Breton University. See, as Cape Breton University is the public university, uh, with the history of 68 to 70 years, it has got different uh, varieties available in engineering area, especially in uh, Cape Breton University. So there are uh, three different uh, sort of programs we have. Uh, number one, that is Bachelor of Engineering Technology. Uh, that's for three years. UG program it is uh, for year, pass, year 12 pass out students. Or if somebody has got a diploma three years from India, like uh, you know polytechnic diplomas, there are so many students they go for. So such students can apply for this program where we have four different engineering options. Number one, that is electronics and control instrumentation. Electronics and control instrumentation, that is the one and only degree in instrumentation available in Canada. That is in Cape Breton University. Then second, we have got petroleum engineering. Petroleum engineering, uh, that is again rare to find. Uh, very less option available, very less institution available in entire Canada providing petroleum engineering. Uh, next, we have environmental studies as well as chemical here in BET, Bachelor of Engineering Technology for three years for UG students. Uh, here, if I see electronics and control instrumentation and petroleum, uh, those are the programs which are not so many institutions offering in entire Canada, in entire country. So it automatically makes you know the student for a uh, student to you know avoid the competition that because you know there are so many engineers uh, who are getting qualified every semester in abroad especially in some common areas like computer science it uh, mechanical civil such areas if you notice so number of uh, students is really high if i talk about uh, overall uh, here you know so 1.5 million students are getting qualified uh, with the engineering qualification, right, every year. And if you look at the skilled one, so the number is really less. And out of these 1.5 million, there are approximately only 20% who are actually skilled and employable. Okay. We, who can actually, you know, they grab the good job, they grab good, uh, you know, the uh, profiles, the, uh, you know, the relevant one. The core one in the area they have qualified, they look for the option and they get it. So this is approximately the ratio of the o, uh, 20% only. And uh, especially in Canada, when we talk about, so approximately 75,000 engineers are registered professional as, as professional engineers only in Ontario. And there are 10 provinces in entire Canada. So it's a majority of those students are into uh, civil, uh, mechanical, and even computer science as well. So these are the major areas where we have a lot of competition, in short, we can say. So a lot of, a lot of students who are getting qualified, uh, they are into the such uh, areas, and uh, that you know automatically creates the competition as well. That's very uh, really interesting, sir. The figures which you're talking about, uh, we were yeah. not aware about it. So you give a very good insight to our students. Right. And it's not like Canada has not got any sort of demand related to engineers. Canada is uh, in demand, actually. They are sort of experienced and skilled engineers, right? 
and they actually want people to get skills get trained in a specific area and yes they want people to get employed as well here also uh, uh, that is all uh, in terms of some sort of facts and figures about engineering and now if i come back to the programs in cape breton university so apart from bet we have got uh, uh, you know one more program that is again a ug program bachelor of engineering transfer 2 plus 2 or uh, we call it transfer 2 plus 2 why uh, initially for two years student would be studying in cape breton university that would be a diploma for two years a student would be studying in cape breton university now after two years it is a student's choice completely or uh, wants to go to uh, dalhousie university halifax for further education for another two years to get a, a final degree four years degree from dalhousie university or uh, want to have an exit after two years only so if a student selects you know uh, i just want to study only two years so a student would be awarded by a diploma two years uh, in engineering and if a student completes four years then yes obviously would be getting a degree four years standard one which is recognized worldwide uh, from a, a top ranked university in canada dalhousie university halifax which is just three and a half hours of the drive from this place where cape breton university is situated Very so good. under this bachelor of engineering we have different area of engineering again uh, there are some those which are common ones as well as we have got some unique one as well uh, like uh, um, mechanical is there civil is there uh, and uh, electrical electrical and computer is there uh, then uh, chemical is there also environmental uh, mineral resource material industrial so these are something you know which are not uh, available at every institution these are something unique i can say apart from those common one so this is about you know the area of studies area of engineering we are available with in cape breton university uh here uh, the fee structure if i talk about for the ug program that is approximately 18200 dollars including a one year medical insurance we have got post degree option as well students who have already got engineering degree in hand right if somebody has got four years degree including mathematics and chemistry so such students can apply for a uh, two years post degree in petroleum engineering in environmental in chemical if somebody has not studied chemical just mm -hmm. studied mathematics during the bachelor degree for four years okay. uh, then student can go for electronics and control instrumentation whether you have chemistry or not so you are eligible for two years post degree in uh, electronics and control instrumentation the fee structure for entire two years for this post degree that is approximately twenty eight thousand dollars including two years medical insurance that's really competitive in a jack and indian mm -hmm. market this yes. is a public university so this is uh, okay. what you know i i actually uh, explain and let the student know about facts and figures you know you need to target you need to uh, prefer those area of engineering where you can easily have good options in future job options as well as a uh, good salary packages sir i would like to ask uh, one particular question as you have uh, given us the details about the different specializations of program so if we compare these specializations with the specializations which are generally offered in different countries like uk india and other countries like usa these are a little bit different so what is your thinking about it like if we compare these specializations with specializations offered by other countries and those things uh see usually uh, when we talk about indian students as we are involved in the indian education um, system and as well as we are you know guiding students to go to abroad for studies especially canada so in india if we look at a uh, majorly you will have four five uh, branches in engineering in every institution in every engineering institution that could be computer science it uh, electrical um, electronics is also there ec electronics and communication exactly. also uh, civil mechanical so these are the common one you'll have in every institution and every mm -hmm. institution has got the same pattern same um, uh, you know the uh, course structure same um, a pattern of the study there is no much change you will not tell right mm -hmm. mostly it goes theoretically here in india right and uh, that is somewhere our students in india uh, they are lacking behind as compared to the foreign education especially in canada so when it comes to canada for the studies right so it is more practical 
and especially the specialization which are rare to have in engineering in india or in any other country in india itself we do have petroleum engineering but in limited institution in entire india we have four i i think four institutions are there in entire canada offering petroleum engineering and it's really really competitive to have admission in such institution for such engineering option but in abroad you know even in abroad it is limited like uh, the country canada uh, but here there's no such you know the criteria you need to go through uh, some entrance exam uh, particularly for the institution or the university right also uh, here in cape breton university you can have the similar specialization similar engineering which is unique one in your country even in this country you are going to study in without any entrance test you just need to meet the academic and the english criteria that is the language criteria you have to meet so you can have admission yeah that is really good to have and after that there are so many engineers who are already pursuing engineering they know the value of such specialization like instrumentation degrees uh, petroleum engineering they already know that yeah after these uh, qualification because um, you know less number of the students they are getting qualified every semester out of these uh, engineering options so yeah competition is not that high and yes demand is always there because these are the programs which are structured by the canadian government and the uh, they allow institution to teach it so yes it is in demand professionals they are in demand and yes they want people to get skilled and get the relevant jobs uh, i must tell you that the petroleum industry we do have in nova scotia itself also in alberta it is known for petroleum engineering there in canada very yeah. good and sir if we have to talk about the previous uh, students of uh, cbu could you name some companies where these students are placed uh, right now see if you talk about uh, our alumni uh, they have been working in uh, various industries various companies around the globe not uh, limited to canada itself because uh, so many international students we um, every year every semester we teach we uh, get admission uh, for uh even we have so many local students maximum we have actually a uh, local students studying here and the local students especially they actually prefer to uh, study such unique area of engineering because they know that is something different and uh, they are going to have maximum uh, benefit maximum outcome out of these studies so usually the students they uh, you know um, target such options in the companies like uh, we have in canada uh, stantec uh, uh checkups uh acecom and uh, uh pret uh and uh, whitney so there are some other companies as well there are so many option available there as i said there are relevant industries available in same province as well as in other province uh, like world aviation corporation is that so there are certain companies where students can have the a uh, scope opportunities from uh, the university itself and student even can have you know the internship co-op opportunities or the full time job opportunities as well very nice yes what is all i want to say that should be student must be really good at the studies as well as practical work whatever he is getting chance to learn on campus or off campus so it is all based on your skills as i said i shared the figures in the beginning uh, there are so many 1.5 million engineering students engineering a uh, professional we are producing um, every year but out of those only approximately 20% are employable which exactly. are skilled we can say actually skilled which are actually talented we can say so the ratio is very less that is because of uh, uh, maybe the education system in the country maybe the because of uh, we are not getting upgraded in india and uh, yes and that's a, a main reason a uh, students from india especially they want to go to abroad for studies because uh, if we see the education pattern there it is 70% practical and india if we see i think that is 70% theoretical exactly that's what that's the reason yeah and so if we talk about the um, average uh, salary packages for uh, graduate engineers uh, in canada so what can a graduate engineer expect over there how much can he expect he or she can uh, expect to earn uh salary see usually the salary that is based on your skills your work experience and the location in the company you are applying in you are uh, targeting an option there uh to give a fair idea that could be approximately 60000 dollars for a year that is an average 
uh, that is uh, an approximate idea I'm giving you, right? If somebody has got really good work experience, that could be higher even. Province exactly. to province, it may change. Yeah. So it's an average uh, package of uh, like whole of Canada, if we talk That's about right. exactly. all over. And what are the major sectors, uh, ma major booming sectors where uh, there are much of opportunities in Canada? For example, uh, if I talk about mining or agriculture or houses, if you can just enlighten us about that. Oh, uh, see, there are uh, different sectors available in entire Canada, right? Especially when it comes to Nova Scotia. So there are two uh, major sectors I, I would notify in terms of engineering, that is mining as well as petroleum. Uh, because in Nova Scotia, uh, mining, it happens at a, a very uh, large scale. Even the petroleum industry we have here, you know, drilling and everything that uh, crude oiling, that is uh, all refinery and all, it all happens here in Nova Scotia. Mm -hmm. Then even Alberta, that is also known for petroleum here in Canada. Uh, apart from this, we do have other engineering uh, areas like uh, civil uh, is there, mechanical is there, electrical is there, uh, software engineers even that is in demand. Uh, and uh, there are uh, uh, geotechnical engineering uh, options are also there, and there are some more. Right. So, um, uh, you know, oh, well, uh, when, so. when it comes to material one, uh, you know, the kind of specialization we have got in CBU material, a uh, material that is also in demand. Material engineering somewhere uh, makes the engineering student enable for different sectors different sector itself, you know, in manufacturing or even in civil, even in mechanical. So that is based on uh, what sort of uh, interest you have during your uh, study, you decide, uh, you pursue yourself, you get influenced or you like to go to. Okay, good sir. And um, actually the session which uh, we had uh, today with you was very much informative. And so uh, is there anything else uh, which you would like to highlight from your end? Which, uh, you would like uh, students to I, know I just uh, I just want to say two things now. One, uh, students, if you are planning to go for engineering in abroad, especially, so there are so many other opportunities available. There are so many other engineering areas available. You actually uh, see nearby you being in India. So just explore it. There are so many good engineering options available. Explore it. You can contact Mr. Gunjan. Right, you can contact even me through Mr. Gunjan only. You can book your appointment. We can have a direct counseling session about it, and we can let you know about different engineering options available in Cape Breton University, uh, here in Nova Scotia, in Canada. And uh, yes, currently, uh, yes, one uh, good news I want to uh, give you guys that application fee waiver is going on. You can apply January 21, intake is open. The deadline is 20th uh, October. And main take May 21 is also available. You can apply any of these intakes according to your preference. And application fee waiver is there. You can save your hundred and three dollars. Very nice. Okay, sir. So uh, I would like to thank you for your time today, and uh, we'll call lot. it off for today. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Take care. Take care.